Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a check mark like that to your table view. So you can basically let your user click on cells and thereby add a check mark to those cells. So if that is something you want to enable in your table view, then just keep watching this video and I will show you how to do it. So let's create a new Xcode project, double tap right there, make it a single view application and I'm going to call it did select row inspired by the function that we are going to use and then click next and then click save or create and then put it in full screen and I'm going to do some changes in the storyboard section so I'm going to review, remove our normal view controller and I am going to drag in a table view controller and then I'm going to select it and I am going to connect it to our uh, view controller so let's see that is invisible and uh, yet so we have to head over to our view controller and change the class to a instead of a UI view controller a UI table view controller and then we're going to head over to the main storyboard again select our table view controller and connect connect it up with our view controller file and then we are going to create an array that's going to uh, contain all of the elements that we want to display in our table view. So let's say let foods, which is the example I like to use. And I'm going to say tomato. I'm going to say rice. I'm going to say bread, milk, and cheese. And that's going to be it. And then here I'm going to create the functions that make up a table view. I'm not going to create them, but I'm going to use them. So the first one we need is number of rows, which is right here, which is going to be the number of rows in our table view. And that should be equal to, let's see, return this value, foods.count. Make sure that it says return instead of return return <laughs> return there we go and then we are going to need one more which is cell for row at index path which is going to give us our cell and one more thing that i forgot and that is let's over, head over to the storyboard click on your prototype cell and then give it an identifier and just name it cell so that we can refer back to that cell right now when we head over to the view controller and we're going to create our cell. So let cell is equal to table view dot dq uh, reusable uh, reusable cell with identifier cell, which we just gave it, and then index path. There we go. And then we're going to say say cell dot text label dot text is equal to foods dot index path dot row and then we're going to return the cell and there we go so now we should have a functional table view with all of the items displayed so just to make sure that there aren't any errors so far i'm going to launch the app and see that everything is as we want it to be and then when we have made sure that there aren't any errors we're going to uh, use another one of these functions that's going to listen for a tap on a cell just one more thing i just saw right there it's black and that's because we also need to define it as our initial view controller else we will pose a challenge to xcode because xcode won't know which uh, view control to display at the launch of the app and now we should have our table view which we do so awesome and now we're going to create our next function, which is going to let us place a check mark or any accessory type on our cells. So we're going to say func, or we're just going to say did select row at index path. And then when this function listens uh, for any taps on any of the cells, and if it finds out that the user has tapped on a cell, we're going to check if um, that cell already has an accessory type and if it doesn't then we're going to place one on it but first we're just going to place a check mark or an accessory type on all cells that the user taps on so we're going to say if 
we're just going to say table view dot cell for row at index path just going to say index path and then dot accessory type is equal to UI table view cell accessory type dot and here you can see here you can choose a number of different different things so check mark detail button uh, and we're just going to use the check mark in order to display a nice check mark when the user clicks on our button and this one needs to be override for an override function and then we launch the app and now when we click on any of the cells they sh a check mark a check mark should appear on that cell so let's see if that is the case i'm just going to click on milk cheese rice and as you see everything is working and then when we click on milk again it doesn't appear or disappear and that's something we're going to change and the logic behind this change is very simple uh, because we're just going to use a completely normal if statement so we're going to check if the accessory type is a check mark and then let's copy this one if it's a check mark then we are going to set the accessory type to be a none and if there isn't a check mark there from uh, before then we're going to say that we should give it a check mark so now if we launch the app we will be able to first of all place a check mark and then remove it by tapping on the cell one more time so let's do that by clicking on bread cheese milk and then i click on cheese one more time and it disappears and now i have the ability to select the items that i want so that is how you place some check marks on your table view cells now if you enjoyed this video make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos and so that i can see you in the next video and uh, thank you for watching